It's funny, as I get ready this morning, um, obviously there's a bit of sunlight finally in Sydney, a bit of rain overnight. But as I get ready for work this morning, um, obviously I'm going to a few health clubs today, but um, you know, I see a lot of videos at the moment and a lot of people identifying the poor behaviours in, in either sales guys or personal trainers and professionals, but I, I sort of hear no one sort of pointing the finger of uh, the lack of leadership that's sort of uh, starting to be shown and predominantly coming across the industry. Because I know when I first started in the industry, you know, I was lucky enough to come through the ranks of, you know, a gym instructor, personal trainer, MC, uh, you know, customer care, management, system manager, manager, into running my own clubs, multi-sites, uh, ETC. And I, I guess the thing is, is that and I had a lot of practice and I guess I had a lot of fuck ups as well. And that's how we learnt. And it was from experience and, and practice. Um, there seems to be uh, a lack of practice today. You know, the, the onboarding procedure is really quick today. People try to rush the process. Um, you know, some of the predominant, you know, brands in the industry that used to have the reputation of just being fierce for sales has sort of lost some of their touches, you know. They're not, they're not practicing repetitious. Man, I remember I used to have to make sure that I had to do my own individual KPIs today. Not not a club in, not not club KPIs, individual KPIs. I used to have to track how many people I'd speak to, how many um, presentations I'd book, how many pr presentations actually showed up, how many I sat, how many referrals, how many I converted to sales. Um, you know, and I had to do my stats every day uh, before I could even go home, and I'd have to hit my targets before I was allowed to go home as well. So. You know, and, and, and the leadership that was there, you know, your, your boss was literally religious with making sure that you practice every day, uh, you went over your scripting, you, you talked about your, you know, the ones that you missed and, and looked at the language that you used and, and your tie downs and how to overcome that stuff and, and how to have a better conversation with people. Um, you know, I was lucky enough to be a really good personal trainer and uh, coming from a sporting background, you know, people gravitated to me because of the things that I was doing and I was inspiring and fit and, you know, and I led by leadership, you know. I practiced what I did and I, and I worked hard and my work ethic was there and I pr produced results and provided results um, for all my clients and the people around it and obviously offered free advice and, and make sure that everyone in the gym was looking after themselves at ETC. So, um, you know, I, I just feel that we're losing a little bit of that lack of leadership on, on the gym floor. Um, and you know, it's not from everyone. There are some really great operators out there and some really great managers that are really taking the time to spend the time with their staff and onboard them properly. Um, you know, there's a lot of sink and swim going on and then we're pointing the finger at these, at these professionals that are, that are young because we were all young and eager when we first started. But you know, unfortunately, even for myself, you know, I was that fitness professional that was really great at fitness, but I sucked at business. Um, you know, and I had to merge and learn the two. And once I did, I was a powerhouse, you know, I can go anywhere and start a client base within 30 days, doesn't matter wherever I go. So, you know, and that's the treats that I learned from the leaders that I learned from that were coming through predominantly in the industry we were really dominating. Um, you know, things are changing. There's a lot more brands today. There's a lot more procedures, but you've got a lot of different types of professionals now in the industry. You've got the new ones coming through and then we've got more, you know, invest their business people coming through that aren't from a fitness background. And then we've got fitness people from a fitness background that still suck at the business side of things. And, you know, it's, um, it, it's becoming challenging and everyone's so time poor today. And I guess the changes in social media and people not really learning fast enough to adapt to it and, and understanding that it's here to stay. And you've got to, you've got to learn to adapt and you've got to embrace it, not um, fight, <laughs> fight it as much as you can, but you know, you've got to, change the way that we engage and that we talk to our clients and the speed that we talk to our clients because there's so many more platforms to reach people and the conversation has to be right otherwise you're not going to encourage people and unfortunately you know health health itself is you know we're not really making a dent in the industry right now you know there's there's we've got all these people coming in but the percentage of people that are still overweight um that, that you know heart disease the strain on the you know health system itself um, it's, it's not, we're not really making the impact that we probably could be if we really made sure that we bring more passionate people and, and teach them the language and teach them what works and stuff. I, I remember some of the great sales guys that I used to work for, some of them never trained a day in their life, but they knew how to talk just as well as a personal trainer did because they learnt the scripts, they learnt the language uh, and they practice. So, you know, a lot of people forget that it's not practice that makes perfect, it's really perfect practice that makes perfect. 
So today, take a bit of time, step back, spend some time with your staff, look at the language they're using, give them some advice, you know, share your knowledge and your experiences and, and, and not just with your staff, but with your members and stuff. Because sometimes we've got to learn to serve before we can, can become a great leader. So, you know, let's start focusing on not just pointing the finger at the numbers and let's start changing the behaviours. And as leaders, we need to change our behaviours and become better leaders. So today, let's focus on being a better leader.